You are seeing the rain most likely, but what about the storms? Well, let's talk about it. I'm Storm Team 2 Meteorologist Carly Smith. Here's a look at the live Doppler 2 HD radar image. This is as of 2.58, so just about 3 o'clock. Notice we've got some rain. We've got some yellow showing up, some moderate rainfall. Uh, but overall, uh, everything is light. This is not severe weather. We do have some thunderstorms up to the north moving into southern Michigan. And we have a few cells that are trying to develop there into our east. Eastern County, Champaign County, Logan County. These cells are pushing up to the north and northwest, which is a little bit different than we're used to. Uh, look at Live Doppler 2 HD. Looking to the west now, you can see this line pushing east across Indianapolis. This is the area of Live Doppler 2 HD that we're going to be keeping a close eye on. Anywhere where we see lines developing like this indicates that we could get some gustier winds. And even within these lines, sometimes we can get a quick little spin up tornado that we'll have to keep a close eye on. Right now, no signs of that in Indianapolis, if anyone's watching from there. Here's a look to our south and southwest. This is what we will be watching for stronger storms moving into the Miami Valley. So we still have a couple of hours and additionally some strong storms may develop here as these uh, storms, this line of rain pushes into the Miami Valley as well. So these are the two areas we will be watching over the next few hours. I'll break it down in future chat coming up, but look at this. This is the beautiful weather comma that we see when we get thunderstorms moving across the country. Basically what we've got going on here is a low pressure system right there near St. Louis and you can see the circular nature around that low. Things move in a counterclockwise form around low pressure systems and that is helping bring up all of that moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. Look at that. This is our water vapor imagery where you can see the greens and the whites indicate moisture coming up out of the Gulf around this system and we are getting a little bit of wraparound moisture there as well that will impact us a bit heading into Sunday. No real storms expected on Sunday. We've also got this dry slot of weather right here. You can see in the, the darker colors and the browns there on your screen. That's drier forming behind this uh, low. So that's what we've got headed our way in the future. But today we are watching our instability very closely. You can see we have rather weak instability, but we do have instability nonetheless. So five o'clock, we're gonna see a little bit the instability increasing over the next two hours. And we'll continue to see some weak instability through about nine o'clock. But then that cold front I, I pointed out earlier, that's going to begin to move through. We'll get the dry air moving in and things will dry out heading into the night. Here's a look at our wind gusts. Notice, yeah, it could be a bit gusty. We have southerly winds right now, a little bit southeast at times, but then watch what happens as that cold front moves through. We're gonna see our wind shift out of the southwest and they'll lighten a little bit, but we still will be dealing with some gusty winds as that surface low inches closer to the Miami Valley. Here's a look at future track. Yes, a few storms possible there. This is 4 p.m. on Saturday, so we are going to have to watch for embedded thunderstorms without, within in this um, rainfall that we have been seeing, the steady persistent rain. We'll watch for some embedded thunderstorms, but it's going to be on the back side of this rain where we could see some heavier storms sneaking in. So really between, uh, let's say, 4 and, and 8 o'clock, we'll be watching for the backside moving through. And then after that, we're going to be seeing this line the cold front that I was mentioning, that's going to be moving through and we could still see a few strong to possibly severe thunderstorms along that cold front. But once we get to midnight, we should be in pretty good shape with that dry air mixing in. You can keep up to date with the latest anytime at WDTN.com. Follow Live Doppler 2 HD on our Storm Team 2 weather app. Here's a look at our severe weather impact. Strong winds remains the greatest concern. A low risk for a tornado, but it is not zero. Likely we'll get one of those. We could see if we do see a tornado, one of those kind of quick spin ups that don't last too long. We're not really concerned with large hail, but there may be some small hail embedded within these storms. And yeah, heavy rain. We are already seeing rain soaking our grounds. Some heavy rain on top of that could lead to some minor street flooding as well. Creeks may get a little high. This is just a reminder even with severe thunderstorms, it is important to stay indoors, stay away from windows, and get to the lowest level or interior room. So that's what we'll be watching for very closely is any severe thunderstorm warnings that do get issued. You're still going to want to do this um, 
as just to be extra safe and remember when thunder roars you do want to head indoors thank you guys so much for watching remember your severe weather safety be prepared not scared that's the best way to prepare for this weather have a great evening and hopefully um flowers plants all everything you're getting ready in your garden will be soaking up this rain thank you guys have a great weekend